What's going on guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel and I got another fix for you today. We are going to be working on my 2006 Cadillac STS. We got to replace the hubs and we got to replace the brakes. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's get into it. So guys, welcome to the channel. And I haven't done any in a while, so this would be good to get back into it. But like I had, we are going to be putting on the hubs and the pads and rotors on the 2006 Cadillac STS. Um, I got a lot of stuff I want to put in for it, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're going to do. So let me go and show you what we're going to put in. All right, guys, we're going to get into showing you what I'm going to put in. We're going to start with the rotors so we're going to be replacing the two front rotors we are going to go back to the drilled slotted rotors i had these on in a previous video before then i had some issues i didn't think they worked so i changed them back to just regular rotors and then those rotors were defected and i'll actually show you where they're defected at and we're just going to go back to these because i didn't really give these a whole lot of time to work in um, because I put them on backwards and just a whole big mess and I just thought that they were just really not the greatest brakes But then I just realized that um, these are directionals. So I had them in the wrong way I didn't give it much time to really work So this time we are going to give it way more time to work it out and everything So this is we're gonna put these rotors in we got two of them and The pads we are going to put on some high performance Brimbro pads Hopefully it'll work with these really well. Um, they still do have like a sort of a braking period, but I think I figured out how to uh, work with that. Um, there's a road that I could just take these on and practice these on and get them broken into. So that'll be perfect. So we got that and that. And in this box, we have our hubs. So I'm not, I'll pull them out when we get to it, but these are two hubs on the front that we're gonna be replacing on both sides. We're gonna be replacing them on that, that side and then that side, and then we're gonna get the whole thing going. So that's what we're going to be stalling in in a few. But before we get started, I wanted to, to talk with you guys. Let's get out into the sunlight. So as you guys have known or may not known, or if you saw in my Instagram, I got into an accident. Now, it doesn't look bad, the hammer doesn't do it much justice, but I also banged it out. It was a lot more worse. It was hit here, and it was hit right in here. I had to bang it out because I couldn't get this passenger door open. But now I got it to where the door opens, and as you see, it's gotten really, really rough. So we're gonna, we're gonna be replacing this and that. The parts should be coming in today. Um, I think there's like a thing is coming on a freighter truck, which is gonna be interesting seeing that. So if it's if it comes in while we do it, we might even show you guys as it's coming off. But yeah, this is this is pretty bad. And it broke some of the lights up here. But you know what? It's okay. We'll get it fixed, get it painted, and then it'll look like like it never even happened. So it's really not that bad. But we are gonna go ahead and start getting into these hubs. Whew. All right, we got those off. We got the tires off, they're all right there. I did forget one thing that I'm going to be changing. So as you see on here, uh, you know, these are okay, but over time, they always seem to uh, wanna go want to go bad so we are going to be also changing out the studs because the hubs already have the studs already integrated on them so we are going to be getting new lugs on here instead of using the old ones the old ones are getting kind of stripped and uh, worn from overuse I'm sure they're probably the OEM ones original ones when the car was actually built from the from the floor so we're gonna be changing these out because this is the reason why come here let me show you guys why so this is why as you see right here this is actually stripped um i guess i put them on there and i guess over time they just stripped so maybe too tight or whatever it went the wrong way and didn't realize it so i'm going to go ahead and just change it out all on both sides so that way it'd be a nice good clean one and it's kind of okay to kind of do so because the reason why is um you know they get used over time hot cold you know heating uh, 
extracting and re-extract, unextracting, so all that stuff. So we're going to be replacing those because um, we got these right here. We got some lugs, brand new ones for all four corners. I'm just going to do the two front right now, and I'll do the other two later. When I uh, change the brakes or change the hubs in the rear, I'll go ahead and change these out. But since we're messing with the front, we'll go ahead and just change them out with some new ones. Just be precautious because you don't want to use those old ones on those new those new threads because then if you put the new old ones on the new ones and they're kind of uh, cross-threaded on the nut, then you're going to cross-thread your new bolts and that's no bueno. So we definitely don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and get into this. Well guys, I told you we were going to have a surprise. My fender, my fender and bumper are here. How cool is this, huh? Let's go check out and say hello. Sorry about that, my um, my non-GoPro camera happened to die on me. So, we're going to go ahead and torque this to 100 foot-pounds. I guess it's time for me to get another go get a GoPro future. That's what I need to do in my future is get a GoPro. But now, we're going to go ahead and torque this. Supposedly, it's supposed to be torqued to 100 foot-pounds. So, we will do our best, since it is kind of a tight spot, we will try and get it 200 foot pounds i'm gonna try our best to get there in this crevice because it's really quite tight uh maybe a shorter one would be better but i don't have a shorter one so i may have to either use my brute strength or just hope for the best all right guys we got it on it the best i could i don't have a uh, room for a torque wrench so i have to just give it much brute strength uh, brute st strength that i have and we'll just go from there. So, onward to the brakes. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe these down. Get all this gunky stuff off. on getting those rotors on here so let me go and get them Up we go. all right let's go ahead and get into this so <clears throat> now one of the things I learned is that you need to make sure they're going the right direction so with that being said, let's look at the rear because the rear will help us out because the rears have drilled slotted rotors on them. All right, so as we see the, let's get a little closer. So as we see the fins, it's kind of curving this way and not curving the other direction. So that means that this needs to go, this needs to go this way, not this way. So whatever curve we got, Whatever the length, this is a little, this is a little different rotor. This is the original ones I put on, but it's, the other ones are straight, but this should work just fine, the rotation. So looking at it, it needs to go counterclockwise. All right. So we will take our rotor and look at it. All right. So it's got to go counterclockwise. So if we were looking at it on the driver's side, that would be the wrong side. So this is actually good because this is kind of like the slit, but this 
it curved remember as you saw it kind of curved these are straight but they're still the same so that means that they go in this direction and then the other ones will be the opposite so we got it going good so let's get us out of this bag We'll get it out of this bag, and I can only do this one-handed, so we'll get it out of this bag, and then we will get it out. All right, guys, so now we got the rotor on. Get it nice and flush. Of course, I need to find the hole for the T. All right. There's the hole for the T. So push this up. Get that going and get it started. This doesn't have to be torqued, just get a nice firm tightness, just holding the rotor on the caliper and the mounting brackets will do everything else so it's a little firm one just to hold it on there oh man no more grindy noise this is gonna be sick guys all right so now we're gonna clean off all this uh, transporting grease that's film that's on it so we'll get our our carver or cleaner this looks so good I'm so glad to get back to drill slider loaders We'll do a wipe and then we'll do one spray just to get to help get the film off like so and let's just do one more spray just to get all the lint good to go all right now let me go get the pads and we'll get them on all right guys now it's time to do the calipers so as you see we got some new clips I'm gonna do one side so I don't for so I don't mess up how to put them on. Actually, it'll go like that. So actually, I can't really mess it up. So, <laughs> so we're going to clean the old stuff out. Just like that. We'll put the new clips in. like that press it down all right looks good make sure it's all pressed make sure it's nice and pressed in there uh, make sure it gets all nice and good so see there's the old there's the new and we'll pop out this old one turn the camera here so you can see it Take our brush. You want to clean this out, get all the old stuff out. So when you put this new one on, it'll go nice and good on there. Alright. Take our clips. It's a little tricky. Don't want to bend these things or break them. Just like 
Just like that. Booyah. Nice and good. All right. And then we're going to uh, check the check the boots. So, boots look like they're okay. Don't seem like there's any issues, but you just like to check them anyway, just to make sure they're greased up. It's got a nice, good amount of grease in there. So, we're good. So now, we'll get this thing nice and bolted. Get these bolted on. Look good. I like to make sure sometimes that they're they're on there, but now that they are, all right. Now we will grease these up. I think. Oh yeah. Comes with its own Brembo grease. How cool is that? Bust the corner real quick. So what you want to do is you want to put some grease in this track here, because this is where your your caliper is going to slide on. I just want to get. It nice and lubricated. Right. Turn you guys back up so you can see me. All right. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these back up. I'm gonna get more finger tight. All right. All right, I think we're good. And then we'll get the pads. All right, we're good to go. Got it going pretty good. Had the little clips uh, weren't pressed in all the way, so it was making that screechy noise, but we got it fixed now. So here we go with the Brim Bros. We'll point it down so you can see a little better. 
And here they are. Nice and good to go. Spray some of our uh, quiet brick stop stuff on here. Just a little dab. That's all you need. All right. Just push them on. All right, hold on, these clips are not sitting. Hang on, hold tight. All right, guys, so we're back. Sorry, I had a little difficulty with this. These new clips were not setting right and they keep scraping on the rotor, but now they're good to go. Uh, that's just because the pads um, are pushing up against it because I had to press it. So once, the, uh, once they get the other side done, we'll pump the brakes and they'll set out on their own. But guys, that's it for this side. So now, we're going to do the passenger side. I probably will do a time lapse on that one just because this is the same as that side. So I don't have to bore you with the slow motion, slow me doing it, but we'll go fast and see how we can do it. All right, guys, we're back and we're done. Uh, it looks really, really good. Got new hubs. I got new drill slotted rotor. The burn bro brakes are on. Oh yeah. Look at that. In the sun. These look good. Now what we do is we're gonna put the tires on and we should. Okay guys, so we're back. So now we're going to put the studs on these new hub pieces. So we're going to get our, our little lug pieces and we're going to put our tires on. like so we're going like butter man they're so smooth and then we'll do the other side and we'll be good okay guys so you wanted to know what was in this box and here it is this is my bumper and my fender. So as you see, this right here is my fender and there's my bumper. All came from Rock Auto. First time ever using, ever buying parts for them. So if you guys ever wanna get some stuff, go to them. They're really good for this. Uh, actually, I think I ordered it this past week and it got here this week. So it was really fast, really quick. And uh, it will be going on this car soon. Take it to the body shop to get the front bumper paint it and the fender and then I will be putting these on and I will be doing this in the next 
video. So now that we've seen what's in the box, let's go ahead and test drive this bad boy. Well guys, it's all done. The car is working great. I just got home. I've been driving around trying to get it all broken into, but that's it. The brakes work great. The Brembo brakes are awesome. May need to get the brake fluid clean. It's a little dirty. Maybe that might take, take care of some of the feeling, but it works great. It stops on a dime, no problems. The hubs are awesome. They work great. Uh, no more of the grindy noise and, and they feel really great. So guys, that's it. That's the, the job is done. The next time you see me, I will be putting those panels on that you guys saw from Rock Auto. They're gonna be going on in the next video. But guys, that's it. Everything is done. Please go down, like, and subscribe. If you like this kind of build, you like this kind of stuff, please say hey, say hello. And if you guys aren't, please check me out on Instagram at FixItDaniel. That helps me out. Go in there, like, say hey, you know, just join, follow. It always helps me out. And I couldn't do this without you guys. Sharing this information gets it out there to you. Hopefully it'll work for you and it helps you out. Well, guys, thank you very much. You guys have a good and blessed weekend. But until then, I will see you on the next Fix It. Peace.